President Donald Trump said killing NAFTA would be a shock to the system. Hello everyone, Jen here, Golden State Times, and today we have a news story. This one comes courtesy at Breibart.com, and it says that President Donald Trump discussed his decision to renegotiate NAFTA, admitting that terminating the trade deal would cause too much economic chaos. He said, quote, I decided, I decided rather than terminating NAFTA, which would be pretty big, you know, a pretty big shock to the system, we will renegotiate it. But President Trump signaled that he's still open to the idea of killing the agreement if he couldn't get a good deal from Mexico and Canada. He said, quote, if I'm unable to make a fair deal for the United States, meaning a fair deal for our workers and our companies, I will terminate NAFTA. He went on to say, but we're going to give renegotiation a good, strong shot. President Trump made his remarks at the White House to the White House reporters during a visit from Argentinian President Mauricio Mauricio Macri. The president shocked Mexico and Canada after news reports revealed Wednesday that the White House had drafted an executive order to terminate NAFTA. After speaking with President Peña Nieto of Mexico and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada, Trump said he's open to negotiations instead. A senior White House aide described Trump's move as an art of the deal and signaled optimism for a speedy renegotiation of NAFTA. But Trump's new tone on negotiation on NAFTA might raise skepticism from supporters who shared his anger towards the deal, blaming it for getting manufacturing jobs for gutting manufacturing jobs in the Rust Belt states. It says that uh, he wrote on Twitter on Thursday morning, I agreed, su- I agreed subject to the fact that we do not reach a fair deal at all. We will then terminate NAFTA. Relationships are good. Deals are very possible. So a lot of supporters that voted for President Trump in the Rust Belt are angry right now because he's saying that he's caving to you know, the Mexican president and the prime minister of of Canada regarding NAFTA. President Trump understands that gutting something this big, this huge, that has been in the works since or even before uh, Bill Clinton, it could be a huge shock to not only workers, it can be a huge shock to um, to finance and to the economy, so he needs to figure out a way to level it out so it won't be that big of a ripple if he does come down to terminating NAFTA. Renegotiation, as of right now, would be the best course of action, but like he said, if he doesn't come to a good deal, if Mexico doesn't budge and neither does Canada, and they still want to continue it a one way one way street he ha- he's going to have no other choice but to terminate nafta and also to you know put up with whatever is the side effect of it okay he has to figure out a way to calm the waters when this big ripple effect comes through if he terminates it so Let us know what you guys think. Are you guys happy that President Trump is trying to save the economy from a huge ripple effect if NAFTA gets, you know, gutted? Or are you angry with him for not, you know, terminating NAFTA like he promised during the the election, like he promised during the primaries, like he promised during the, you know, his campaign? So, you know, let us know. Okay, if you still support the president, even though he didn't gut NAFTA, give this video a thumbs up. If you're angry with the president and his decision to keep NAFTA and just renegotiate it with the Mexican president and the prime minister of Canada, give this uh, this video a thumbs down. I myself, I understand where he's what he where he's coming from. Um, he understands that he. You know, doing something like this will cause 
you know, side effects in, in, in a way. And he's just trying to look out for the best possible outcome in the future. Not just right now, but in the future. Because, you know, he, he's always looking out for the country. He's looking out for the economy and he's looking out for the worker. But I hope that if we do get a deal going, it will be a million times better than what it was before. But he also has to understand that once he gets out of office, whoever comes right after him, after his second term, that deal is going to go back to how it was before, folks. It's just the way that things are. And gutting NAFTA in reality would have probably taken care of it, but you never know. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And like always, like this video, share this video, subscribe if you are new. Also, check out our previous videos and, and also join us this Saturday for President Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. It would happen at the exact same time as the White House Correspondents' Dinner. So it starts at 4.30 Pacific, 4.30 p.m. Pacific, 7.30 p.m. Eastern here at Golden State Times Live. I hope that you guys join us. The link should be in the description or it's on the front page of our website, goldenstatetimes.com. So make sure you go over there. You uh, give it a thumbs up. You share it on social media. You make sure you tell your friends that President Trump is coming to Pennsylvania for a Make America Great Again rally. And also, we're trying to get as many people in because we don't want the correspondent dinner to get any type of views. Okay, we want them to fail. And the only way to, to make them fail is by letting people know that President Trump is speaking in Pennsylvania here live at Golden State Times. Thank you very much, folks. Like I said, check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com. We post a whole bunch of news over there that we can't post here because of YouTube's censoring rules. So we will be uploading a bunch of stuff over there that we can't show you guys here. So for uncensored news, go to goldenstatetimes.com. Thank you very much, folks. See you guys soon. Check the links in the description below. Peace.